This video covers the use of Saunders Machine Works fixturing pins along with our line of blank and fixture plate patterned aluminum pallets. Our pins can be used much like a standard off-the-shelf dowel pin for precisely locating pallets, work holding devices, and your own fixtures with the added benefit of a thread at the base for retention and ease of installation and removal. Our half-inch fixturing pin is available in two styles, round and diamond. When used correctly, this allows for precise and repeatable location of your fixtures while avoiding the binding and removal issues seen when using two round pins. When using both styles of pins, the round pin provides accurate true position about the first bore, while the diamond pin provides both the angular position and some clearance for ease of disassembly. Note that some of our products include what we call a diamond bore, which serves the exact same purpose of preventing rotation of your pallet while still providing some extra clearance for disassembly. These diamond bores should only be used with a round pin as they serve the same purpose as using a diamond pin in a round hole. When setting up your fixturing pins, round pins should be installed into the locating bore and lightly snugged. For the most accurate angular position, there are two considerations for installing the diamond pin. The first is bore location. We recommend selecting a hole as far as possible from your round pin, because the longer the distance between the two, the smaller the angle created by any location error of that second pin. That is to say, your pallet will have better tram the further apart these two pins are. The second consideration is orientation of the diamond pin. When you're orienting the diamond pin, imagine drawing a circle with its center at the round pin and circumference falling on the diamond pin, like I'm drawing right here. Ideally, the points or non-relieved sections of the diamond pin should fall on this circle to best resist rotation of the pallet. To install this pin, tighten it until barely snug, which ensures your pin is as far down as possible, and then loosen until it's just in the correct orientation. The o-ring compression will help keep the pin in place. As you can see here, if we incorrectly orient the pin, then the clearance on the sides allow for far more angular play before we tighten the fixture down. When using a locating pin system, determining repeatability is as simple as comparing the fit between the pin and the locating bores. With our recommended bore tolerance, the same bore tolerance of an SMW fixture plate or fixture pallet, and the diameter tolerance of the fixturing pins, you can expect a worst case repeatability of 1.4 thou. There are a few considerations that can improve that repeatability. The first is that pushing your fixture consistently in one direction when tightening your part down will help improve repeatability as it always pushes the pin against the same side of the locating bores, effectively cutting any float in half. The second option is to fully tighten the pin to the fixture plate to eliminate one degree of float. This can improve repeatability, but note that it won't necessarily change the positional accuracy, or rather, how concentric the pallet bore is to the fixture plate bore. The pin could still be offset from the center of the bore, it just can't move between fixture changes. This does not work for the diamond pin, since it can't be both fully tightened and properly oriented, so using two round pins and a relieved diamond bore can be a good alternative. When designing your own fixtures, pins can be permanently installed with a light interference fit. This is the best of both worlds because it eliminates one degree of float and it preserves your positional accuracy. To use this method, follow our recommended press fit bore spec for your fixture, apply a small amount of anti-seize to the bore to prevent galling when tightening the pin, and then tighten the pin using the threads to drive the press fit. 